Here is our agenda for the day. We have a fuel filter for the L5P Duramax. Yes, this does look different than your previous generation fuel filters because it is just this little actual filter that you're replacing. It comes with a couple of O-rings. And then, cool thing is it says made in Czech Republic. So kind of cool that it's not made in like China. Anyway, we're gonna do that for the L5P over there. On the L5Ps, your fuel filter is going to be right there. Much easier than your previous generations. You don't have to remove the wheel well liner on the passenger side. You can just drop down right by your def tank. It's between the frame and the def tank. That is your new fuel filter on the L5Bs. The only problem is I do not have a 36 millimeter socket, but what I do have is a set of skills that I've acquired over a long period of time. I'm just kidding. No, I either have to go out and go get a 36 millimeter socket just for this application, just so I can use it every time I fuel filters, or maybe I can see if I can um, untighten it with my hand. We'll find out. Quick trip back from Advanced Auto Parts. Had to go get the 36 millimeter socket because, well, nothing I had would work, and I just figured this would be the easiest way to do it. All right, so this is my first time swapping out a fuel filter on an L5P. In the L5P, the fuel filter is right there for a different reason because these trucks come with factory lift pump, whereas the previous generation, the Aramaxes, did not. So that is why the fuel filter is right here. Oh shit, I feel yeah. I can see why people are upgrading to billet ones. But for now, we'll just let it drain like this for a little bit. Let me go get a towel. All right, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the old filter and the new filter. So yeah, that is pretty much black and that is why it's never good to have old filter. When I bought the truck, I was at like 12, 13,000 miles and roughly I, I put about 10,000 miles on, on my truck and I have not replaced the fuel filter. It was at 100% when I bought it, so I assumed it was changed. That, I don't like the way that looks. What that looks like, there's a video that I watched uh, on YouTube. He, he replaced his filter after 20,000 miles, and that's roughly what his filter looked like. So I am wondering if uh, if this original filter has 10,000 or 20,000 miles. Maybe not, it could be 10,000, but yeah, that's pretty dark compared to that. Take the new ring and I'll lubricate it with the old diesel fuel that's still left in here. So what you want to do is, well first I'm going to go dump out the rest of the diesel fuel that's in here. And then 
Just put the new filter in, like so, and you should hear it click. There you go. Just like that. And let's go ahead and put it, put this back on the truck. So this O-ring that came, you're gonna put it right there. So there was one there that I removed and I'm replacing it with the new one that came with the filter. So it goes on just like that. There you go. And put the filter back on. I can see why people swap out the bowl, upgrade the bowl to a billet one because this plastic is very fragile and I feel like on the next filter change or the one after that, eventually it's going to get rounded off or plastic it's going to start cracking or something like that. So I'm probably going to order a billet one just to have so that way I can upgrade it next time. Better safe than sorry. Next, get in your truck. Don't put your brake. Oh, don't put your foot on the brake because we're not actually trying to start the truck what you want to do is you want to prime the fuel into the filter i don't typically put the fuel in the filter because you are possibly putting an untreated unfiltered fuel straight into the system i just like to let the truck prime the fuel into the filter so that way we don't risk any contamination i also know plenty of people who put the fuel in the filter so it's kind of up to you it's all preference so at this point with the 2020 and newer it's push to start so what you want to do is you want to press and hold for like 10 seconds that's going to put it in run position and you may there we go and you should hear the filter priming probably do that again uh, with 17 and 19 L5Ps you can just put the key in and turn it to run position it'll prime it that way yep you should hear it so we should be ready to start the truck Just like that. I'll uh, just let her idle for a little bit. Make sure it's not leaking. Everything looks good. Put your truck in run position and then i'm going to show you guys how to reset your percentage your truck in run position and scroll down mine is going to say 98 percent because i already reset it all you want to do is hit this button and then that that's it it is that simple and obviously you're going to hit yes i'm going to hit no and that's it it should be at 100 percent after you do that I know like in the older trucks, you had to, what, put it in, um, put the truck in run position and like hit the uh, gas like five times or something like that. But no, with these new trucks, with the technology, it makes it very simple to reset. Just like you can do the same thing with oil life, which I need to do an oil change pretty soon. 
I normally order both my fuel and oil filters from Amazon for half the price of what you can find them at the dealership or auto parts locally. I'll be putting a link for these fuel filters in the description as well as comment section below and it'll be pinned. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>